yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you pumped up, Ronnie? Are you pumped up? <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. I wonder who directed it. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, all you movie-loving badasses? It's your boy, oh. Fat Samurai Guy, Preston in the house, hanging out with my brother from another mother. That's right, the master remaster, Frank Jang. How are you, Frank? I'm doing good. How are you, Welcome sir? Back. Great. Aloha. Doing, I'm doing fantastic. Aloha. Yeah, shaka bra. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm doing amazing. Uh, because it's a huge honor uh, on my channel to have the man, the myth, the legend, showstopper, the icon, the main event. That's right, himself, Ronnie. You welcome to the channel, brother. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna have a blast talking film, especially your uh, wonderful filmography. Uh, we're gonna go down memory lane, and uh, we're gonna touch on not all of the films because we need like five hours for that. But uh, we only got you for a short amount of time, but it's awesome to have you here, and uh, I can't wait to chat movies with you. But before we get started, uh, we got some fans here in the chat watching right now. That's right. Uh, we have Anubis here. That's right. Saying that you, were, you had something in your hand. There it is. Yeah. The Bride with White Hair. That's right. Anubis says it's one of his all-time favorite. Definitive edition. Yes. The definitive edition. He says it's one of his all-time favorite martial arts movies. Thank you, Anubis, uh, for that. Uh, you got uh, Jake Hall in the house here. Let me get his uh, comment on here. Hold on a second. He goes, Freddy versus Jason is his favorite movie. Look at that. Got some fans <laughs> chiming in here. Well, it's good to have everybody here uh, watching for sure. Let me scroll down here, and then uh, we'll get it We'll get it rocking and get it rolling. You have everybody saying hello, Ronnie. Hello, Hello, Frank. All right. All right. Hello. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. A lot of fans on fire. They're, they're on fire. They're hyped. They're hyped for uh, the fire. podcast. <laughs> yeah. Fuego. Again for, for watching. Yeah. Fuego. Uh, Fuego. So, Ronnie, I have, I have to ask my, my friend, what's their favorite films growing up, my friend? I love uh, Western movies growing up in Hong Kong. Yeah. And I watch a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Western movies. But uh, Magnificent Seven is the one that really stands out. Because I really love those heroes, like, you know, kicking ass bad guys, you know. That, that's what I really like. And um, The Professional, remember the Howard Hawks one? Yes. And it's all stand out. And, and of course, the, the, I think the, the, the one that really, really I love is uh, Wild Bunch. Bunch. Oh, what a crazy yes, Wild Bunch. It's really, I really loved it. And uh, so basically, it's a lot of a uh, lot of old, old Western movies, you know, cowboys and Indians. You know? And of course, uh, in Hong Kong, you get to watch a lot of Kurosawa's movie, you know, like uh, Seven Samurai. Yeah. You know? And uh, but Ooh, I love Western. one of uh, this movie called Red Beer. Oh yeah. I think I, not too many people sort of real, realize how good that, that movie was. Yeah, that's a great know? movie, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a doctor that kicks ass. Yeah, which is doctor fantastic. That I mean, he's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's a martial artist. Yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> and he don't, he don't kill people. He right. just breaks people's bones. He breaks people's bones. Yeah, there was only one action <laughs> sequence in that film. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Ronnie, what inspired and motivated you to become a filmmaker, my friend? Well, Frank would know my history. But it's all, it's all, basically, I, I'm not intended to be a director. I never intended to be a director. And I always wanted oh, to be wow. the producer. I always wanted a producer because I, you know, I love to package films. I love to, like, you know, uh, create stories and, and, and write stories and all that. It's just the circumstances that sort of uh, nobody wants to do my movie, my script. So it ended up that me and my writing partner, Philip Chan, um, has to direct the movie ourselves because we don't want to lose the uh, investor. Because the gotcha. investor said, if you cannot find the right uh, director, you know, then I'm going to pull out. So me and Phil, we just had to say, okay, okay, we, 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 we do it, we do it, you know? So it's all like yeah. uh, the circumstances. The, the, I just don't want to lose that project so that I step in to the direct, you know? But I know nothing about gotcha. directing, so I learned. I learned as I wow. go along, you know? So, yeah, he's, he's talking, talking about, yeah, he's talking about the first film, right? The Servants? 
Yes. Yeah, Chiang Lai, Chiang Lai, yes. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a Captain, Captain Robin. It's a Captain Robin film, yeah. Movie, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then it, wow. it, was, it was a success. It was, it was nice. a surprisingly a success. So it must be, I, I keep telling my, my mom, it must be somebody upstairs, like, you know, planted my <laughs> path. <laughs> <laughs> copy that, copy that. Uh, let's right. jump to uh, one of my favorites from yours, The Postman Strikes Back. I had to bust oh. out the old uh, Hong Legends DVD and uh, rewatched it. And when I rewatched it the other day, I had such a blast uh, rewatching this film. And I loved uh, Chow Yun Fat's little dart, his hidden dart uh, weapon he had in the film, uh, which was a lot of fun. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave, I'll have Frank, uh, Frank will definitely correct me if I mispronounce the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you, uh, Frank knows I'm terrible with the names. So Frank's here to help me out here. Uh, but yeah, he everybody was great in the film. But I have a question, Ronnie. The How long did it take to conduct the uh, the fight on the ice with the spear gang going after our heroes? Was that was that difficult to put together? Oh, my God. I, I, would, I would rank this movie one of my most difficult ones. And, and the length of the production is just amazing. Because we have to go to Korea. Uh, it was produced by Golden Harvest, and uh, we had to go to Korea, and we had to come back, and then go back to Korea, and then we had to come back to Hong Kong, and oh. then we have to stop uh, somehow twice the production. And the first time we stopped because a uh, wow. leading lady broke her leg, so oh. she cannot oh, continue. So we had to recast and rewrote the script. And uh, the second time we had to stop because of Chow Yun Fat was having a, a legal dispute with the Hong Kong TV station. So they put a oh, sort of like okay. a stop work, sort of uh, a, a restriction on Chow Yun Fat. But so that's wow. why we had to go back to Korea because he would be outside of Hong Kong jurisdiction, you know. So that's why. That, so we had to stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. And on, on top of this, this is the uh, the third movie in my career, you know. And I I I, I told you earlier on right. that I know nothing about filmmaking, but I just I just love movie. I love action, and uh, so I I rely a lot of like uh, on the comic books that I read, you know, in 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 the, the Hong Chinese comic books and also all the right. Spider Man and Batman comic books. You know, I I, I remember all those like shots. So that's how that's how I I I, I tell the cameraman, you know, well, wait, how how do I want to see how big? I, you know, don't, don't don't ask me about the lens. I don't know anything about lens, but I just know how yeah. much I want to see on the screen. So anyway, and then right. and then martial wow. art is also something new for me, you know. But I watch a lot. I remember right. I watch a lot of those Japanese movie. You know, remember in the, in in the old days you have all those ninja movie, you know. So I throw yeah. in a lot of yeah. those into it and uh, so it's, it's a it's a collection of my memory actually the uh, postman strikes back it's really you know and uh, and remember when i went to school in ohio i watch a lot of hockey games you know <laughs> and, and I, I just love <laughs> hockey games the way they ski so yeah i gave i gave the uh, choreographer a, 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 a tough assignment i said i want to see skating you know <laughs> and so anyway uh, right, it, it, was right, right. It, was it, it was it was minus 27 degrees centigrade Gee, you know, the places where we shot it was, it was way near the border of uh, south korea you know not south south north korea it was way up there the, yeah. that lake yeah and even the wow. wire breaks oh, wow. it's so cold. Uh, you know yeah it's tough it's oh tough. wow 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 but it's, yeah. it's exciting but it was a phenomenal you know, scene yeah uh, Frank, uh, can you spread the word maybe in the future to uh, 88 Films oh. or Eureka, you know? Well, well a, I'm, glad, Blu -ray. I, I, I'm glad you <laughs> asked that because because I'll I'll give some exclusive news right now. Uh, a certain label will be Woo. releasing The Postman Strikes Back on Blu-ray this year. So so hopefully we'll be able to include yes. Ronnie. In, you, know, the, you know, Ronnie, we've wanted, uh, hopefully we'll have Ronnie as one of the participants in the, some of the extra features. So, But yes, that's coming up this year. Remastered oh, that's everything. awesome. Yes. That is 
awesome news. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, can't from wait a label that cannot be named. Yes, shall not be named. Yes, not be named. Yes, 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 yes. Yet, uh, that's awesome. Thanks, thanks, Frank's for the exclusive. Uh, but yeah. Ronnie, enjoy the Ninja battle at the end of the film here. As with uh, Eddie Cole, man, Eddie when Cole. he started whipping off fire, our hero here, man, and then look at that shot right there. He's actually pulling uh, his own stunt there like on fire. <laughs> I mean, yes. phenomenal stuff. The ninja battle at the end of your movie, did it influence right. uh, some of the ninja action in Duel to the Death, which came out later? <laughs> Do you think, in your opinion? I, 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 I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> you know, film. Everybody co copies everybody. Okay, okay, okay. Because I, <laughs> I copy I, I, a lot. <laughs> that's true. Because it, it was so, yeah, right, right. It was just because you know Eddie Coe had the ninja fight in Duel to the Death, and he even blew up too. Like it was, all, it was very similar. So I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. if they got some ideas from a Postman Strikes Back. But let's keep it rocking and rolling. So you switched it up to different genres here. And you started doing some horror comedies. You have The Trail. Oh, yes. And uh, Cupid, yes. where you re-teamed up with uh, Chow Yun-Fat here. Talk, t tell us about these two films. Yeah, The Occupant and The Trail, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, and The Trail, yeah. The, let, uh, us know. The trail. The trail Talk, uh, let us know not, about those. Not, yeah. those the, tra the Trail is like a vampire, a Chinese vampire um, movie uh, with some comedy in it uh, because I, I was partnered with uh, Michael Hui, you know the 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 very famous uh, comedian in Hong Kong, and that that is his company that produced it, and then his brother, yeah, uh, Ricky was in was in it, and uh, that was a lot of fun, and it was shot in in uh, in Taiwan, and uh, yeah, and the occupant was uh, working with uh, yeah. with a company called um, Shanghai Sing at that time, Sydney City, yeah, Sydney yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. It's basically it's all like you know, the, their product is all family movies and you know all all comedy oriented, you know. And, uh, yeah, Ronnie, yeah. I have a quick I have a quick question for you. So, is yeah. like, what's the different one? Like, is there any notable difference when you work with Golden Harvest or versus Cinema City? Like, was there more like in terms of like creative, uh, creatively speaking or artistically speaking? Like this either of the studio give you more freedom or like what's the major difference between like Golden Harbor and Simon City when you were making those films? Well, you know, I, I spend, <laughs> I make sure every time when I partner with uh, my creative team, I make sure that I, I, I get the, my freedom. I get my freedom. You know, if I, if I have to fight for my freedom, mm -hmm. then I will say, no, I will turn it down. You know, uh, uh, working with Michael, Mike, Michael is very good. That gave me a lot of freedom. And, uh, and of course, Golden Harvest trusts them, and uh, and also and uh, in um, the occupants, I'm working with Raymond Raymond Wong, and you know I work with him many times, and uh, he trusted me, and so I have a lot of creative freedom, and I just want to make sure, they they just want me to make sure that you under budget, you make sure that you don't over budget, and that's it, and then <laughs> I get. Yeah. yeah, I saw the occupant in uh, San Francisco Chinatown. I still remember it was funny and scary at the same time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, right, basically, right. I think. Uh, basically, do you have? What, oh, go ahead. Yeah, basically, is 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 entertaining. Ahead, it basically, is entertainment yeah. that I'm going after. You know, because because uh, as you know that I I say earlier that I, I don't have film sort of like I, I didn't study film or I'm crazy. I got to be at the film directors that that urge. You know, for me, film is for mass entertainment. You know, because everybody like after a hard day's work, they go to the cinema. They just want to enjoy themselves, have a, you know, entertain, you know, so that, that, that's my right, core right. interest in making movies. And so I make movies that I love nice. to watch, you know? <laughs> nice. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that. Did, did you have any favorite horror comedies? Oh, yes, of course. The, uh, I remember a long time ago when I was uh, young, I watched this uh, Roman Polanski movie, The Fearless Vampire Killer. Uh -huh. For me, that, for me, that is the perfect match. That's the perfect match of uh, like comedy and horror. You know, I, nice, I love it. Nice. And and also I love uh, Dracula. You know, the Coppola one. Uh, oh yeah. But the oh, only, nice. the, the one that's really the one movie that really scared the hell out of me is Exorcist, oh. which I love anyway. Oh. But 
Mm, I remember, classic. I remember we, we were at school and we drove this beat up uh, Ford, you know, driving to uh, Columbus, Ohio, you know, to the, to the city to watch the exorcist. And coming back, we all, like seven of us, squeezed into this car, right? <laughs> and then coming back, we have snowstorm. <laughs> and then the damn wiper gone. So we had, everybody had taken, you know, go outside and wipe the, the screen out of snow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was so scary, you know. You know, the headlight <laughs> looking cold, and then you see the snow hitting you. And after seeing, you know, watching uh, Exorcist, <laughs> uh, that was an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's hilarious. Great taste in movies. Great taste in movies. Love The Exorcist. Uh, Frank, you had some questions for Ronnie about Mummy Dearest here. Yeah, Mummy Dearest. I thought that was a very interesting movie. How was working with Alan Tam like? And also, what was like? What was your main goal in making that film? Was it meant to be drama with like horror elements, or, or like was about, it's almost like he's like it's almost like a prelude, like a prelude to American Psycho in a way, because he's like a killer. What was your like? What was your main goal in making this film? I think I think that is that is the problem. You just mentioned that all the problem that that uh, that movie has, you know, is I don't know what the what the hell I'm doing, really, you know, because I just want to throw in so many things, you know, because of, of Alan Tam, he's a he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a pop star, very famous pop star, and uh, he's a pop idol, and I just want to do something different, which is wrong. I shouldn't have done that, oh. you know. I shouldn't have done that. And so I, I tried to do something different with him. And then he, he, he also came, you know, to do something different. I said, how about we, we make you a killer? He said, yeah, 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 good, good, good. Let's try it, let's try it. And then Raymond, Raymond, uh, Raymond Wong sort of like, all of a sudden said, maybe, maybe not too heavy. Mm. Maybe we should, because it, it's a Cinema City production, right. we should lighten it up. So that's why we have the lighter side with, right. the, with the old couple uh, right. uh, love story. And you see, that's the thing. If you don't know what you are doing, if you are sort of like torn, you know, then then the movie will tell. Mm. I mean, you cannot you cannot sort of cover it up. I, I right. mean, at the director, right? You never you will, the audience can pick it up. So that movie is almost like I shoot I shot that movie, sort of. Uh, I have no idea. I just okay okay. Oh, this scene is funny. Put it in. Oh, this scene is exciting. Put it in. You know, there is isn't one. So cohesive, solid idea mm -hmm. you know, behind it, yeah. and then at the end it just it shown. Yeah, know? it just feels like, yeah, it did feel like it's like a little bit all over the place sometimes, you know, like yeah, like yeah. Totally, so that, right? yeah. yeah. And also that that movie became my last movie, my last association with the uh, <laughs> <cinema> movie. <laughs> that bad? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I'm very embarrassed by it. You know, uh -huh. it's not entertaining. Right, right. Yeah, you know, it, it it didn't achieve my my goal. You know, I just I just tried to do everything all at the same time. I see. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're uh, looks like uh, Preston's trying to log back in. So so in the meantime, let me ask you about Legacy of Ray. So how did that project like just quickly of course now? Uh, how did that project come about? And also, uh, I you know I've uh, interviewed Mang Hoi, and he like he's always very robust, very like very hyper on screen but in in real life he's actually very like soft spoken very quiet how was working with mang hoy like <laughs> um no 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 he was he, he was he was like what you said describe him he's like you know very energetic you know very fast talking and uh you know a lot of lot of lot of come up with a lot of ideas and yeah yeah but legacy of rage again it, it, it just uh, it just fell in my lap you know, I didn't ask for it. You know, it just it just because uh, uh, Dixon Poon, the producer, um, uh, I think he make a, a three movie or two movie or something contract with uh, with uh, Brandon, mm. uh, and uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, one day I got a call from him. He said, uh, "You're gonna do this movie." Because you can communicate with uh, Brandon, I said. What do you mean? I can communicate with Brandon because you. He said because you you went to school in in in, in America, so you can understand him. I said, wow. So that's the uh, that that's it. Said, yeah, that's it. Okay. So 
So that's that's how that movie that comes comes about, you know, and 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 also a very, very not a, not an easy movie to make, not an easy movie to make, yeah. Because Brandon really doesn't want to do action. You know, he doesn't he, want to follow like his father's. You no, know, no, he, he he even have a, some sort of resentment to uh, to uh, to uh, action mm-hmm. sequences. You know, right. he he really want to like. Uh, Want to prove himself to be a, a dramatic actor, mm-hmm. you know. He, he really wanted to get get away from uh, Bruce Lee's, you know, his father's uh, shadow. You know, so I would say, mm. yeah. So yeah. okay, so after Legacy of Rage, you make like a several ego, like almost like again another horror comedy, Man Wei Fa Tiu Chang. Yes, that's his house. So yes. what, how was how was that like? I mean, because you have basically you have a, like a, a quite a few interesting you know actors in that film you have Bill Tong you have Deborah like yeah. it seems like horror comedy was something that you were really kind of favoring at that time <laughs> I, I think at that moment at that moment after making Legacy of Rage I'm, I'm just so, so tired I'm so tired of smelling the gunfire you know I'm just so tired of, of uh, get, you know getting car care you know doing Car crash and right, right. blow up everything, right. you know, and and all of a sudden that 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 uh, Polanski movie, you know, uh, came to my mind, and also The Shining, that yes. came to my mind. Right. So so I just come up with oh let's do something like you know tongue in cheek, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know well, more 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 less stressful. Right. You know? so, so that's that's why we come up with that uh, uh, movie Bless This House. You know, it's all about possessions you know haunting house mm. yeah so that was, one, that, was, that was fun it was fun i'm well, glad yeah. to hear it yeah. uh one other movie that i want to talk about real quick before we go into your more you know obviously more or more esteemed uh works in the 90s was shogun and little kitchen with uh yun bill how was working right. with yun bill like actually i, I only work with them uh for one a, li- a little bit more than one week Oh, he was supposed to be. You see that that is so bizarre. Hmm. That is a bizarre situation. Uh, he's supposed to be the leading actor of the movie, right? Right, right. And uh, and after one and a half week of uh, filming, mm-hmm. yeah, he totally vanished. Hmm. <laughs> Nobody can find him because he have a contract dispute with the producer. Oh, right. He had right. money money issue with the producer. And then he just disappear. Oh, so, so I have I have to uh, rewrote the script and rearrange everything. It, it again that movie is tough because you lost you lost the, your leading actor and you right. lost the soul. Right. You lost the role. Right. 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 So you you try to recreate something Ronnie. which is different. Mm. He's back. Yeah. Hey, Brad. Person? Can you guys hear me? Did you, you did you talk about Legacy of Rage? Yes, we talked about Legacy yeah. of Rage and then also Mummy Dearest. So, okay. so yeah, right. so we're just about to go into nice, Bride. Nice, nice. All right, all right. Bride with white hair, man. Fantastic movie, man. Just just amazing movie. And how was it working uh with Leslie, uh, Ronnie, Bridget Lynn, and Peter Powell? Yeah. Uh it's great. Working with Leslie is great. I mean, because uh, because he loves movies. He's a movie buff, and um, so we get to yeah, yeah, we get to we get to when, when I when I had this idea about this is a, actually a remake of an old movie. There you go. Of an old Chinese movie in the nineteen seventy, you know, it's a remake. And uh, I went to, I went to Leslie. Yeah. And I had him in mind in my mind all the time as a lead, you know, and and I I nice. see it. I see almost like the the the, the uh, like a James Dean, you know, of the old Chinese uh, 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 sort of martial art uh, story. So I went to Leslie and uh, uh, I talked to him about it, and he said, "Oh yeah, yeah, that that would be great. That would be great." And then and then I said, "Now we should we have to pair you up with a goddess, you know." And so and I went I went to uh, Bridget, and then she loves the idea, and uh, and that's how the movie got made. You know, and nice, and and nice. I, little do I know, little do I know that this movie is the turning point in my movie career. <laughs> yeah, that 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 that's what Hollywood calling me because of 
It's beautiful. That movie. Yeah, fantastic movie, Ronnie. Fantastic movie. We love Bride with White Hair. I never actually got a chance to see the sequel. How was the sequel? The sequel was a was a quickie. I mean, we just uh, because we we we, we run out of contract time with uh, Leslie and Bridget, and Raymond Wong, the producer at that time, said, uh, no, "We only have uh, three months. You know, can we can we sort of like just get a sequel out? You know, immediately." But I said I'm I'm really you know tired. I'm really all beat. You know, yeah. with the, making the first one. But my my editor, David Wu, you know, he's he's very excited about it. He said, "Can I can I try it? Can I let me let me let me direct it?" I said, "Okay, go ahead, go ahead." You know, and uh, and let's do yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's how that's how that it was a he poor guy poor David. He had only like very little time to crank it out. Yeah, the second one. Yeah. Nice. Copy that. Copy that. But yeah, the first one's a classic. And don't forget, guys, you can get it on from Eureka. Get that Blu-ray. Uh, Frank, I really enjoyed your audio commentary. And Ronnie, your audio commentary is on that Blu-ray as well. So make sure you guys uh, check it out if you want to hear even more in-depth audio commentary yeah. and behind the scenes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warriors of Virtue Project come up. Warriors of Virtue. That is a difficult one again. Oh. It was it, yeah. it, it was all shot it was all shot in uh, in Beijing studio and a little bit in uh, British uh, Columbia in Vancouver. Uh, it, it it was a very strange project. It came about. You know, I was approached by four doctors from Denver, Colorado. You know, four four Chinese American doctors. Uh, his father, their father. Uh, has a big factory in China, uh, manufacture all the Star Wars characters, yeah, you know? and and so right, okay. his father say, hey, if Star Wars can make all those characters and we are making money for them, why don't we create our own sort of little mini, you know, like mini uh... Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, so that's how <laughs> this the whole whole project it came about. It's because of a toy. It's just because of the toys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And again, it's a, right, it's a very, right, the, right. The, reason, the reason I say it's difficult is because you have four brothers as doctors and everybody has, has their own ideas. And then I, do, I, I don't know who to listen to. You know, should I listen to the elders or should I should listen to the youngest one? You know, so all the time we have to go right, back, and right. forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, and then we have a problem with the with a choreographer, with a stunt choreographer, we have to change, replace him, and you know, a lot of problems. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, and uh, and making movie at that time in, uh, I just done Phantom Opera in uh, Beijing Studio. Uh, yeah, and that's how we. What a great guys. movie! Yes, yeah. st- thank you. That's why we uh, we just... we we stick with the uh, Beijing Studio. Yeah, making. Gotcha, you know, gotcha. All the sets. Uh... All the sets and all yeah, that. I'm I'm still trying to convince uh, like a UK label to release. Well, this film actually. Oh, let's go back to War of Virtual Go. Yeah, this film still needs a decent video release. I mean, I think MGM has only released it, it on DVD. Yeah, yeah. See, I I think I think at that time uh, uh, MGM have no idea how to market this movie. Hmm. You know, again, ah. it's like they don't know. They don't know. Is, is this for family movie? Is this a family movie or this is for action? Right. You know. Again, I think I think. Uh, Basically, uh, we have a different op- opinion among all the uh, the maker, the filmmaker. You know, so again, that gotcha. is the mistake. You know that we right, cannot. Right. It's very difficult to sort of like uh, correct that. You know, mm-hmm. once you have that sort of uh, different opinion, yeah, and could could it come to uh, some sort of like. So just tell me what kind of movie we're making. Right, you know, right. That's thing, you know? right, 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 right. And and it, gotcha. it would end up like that. It would end up like yeah. that. You know, so it's like, you know, when I cut a version and then the elder brother would say, no, 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 we want differently. And this, the, the second brother would say, no, 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 we should do this. You know, this should be a family yeah. movie. Right. And then the, the, some other brother would say, no, we want hardcore action. You know, that's all. Right, you know, right. It so would we, tell. But, it would tell. Yeah. But I love the the animatronics for the ruse were very well done, man. Yes, yes, that yeah. was that was uh, yeah. And and I learned, you see, I learned, you see, 
I learned a lot from uh, all the animatronic that helped me working on Chucky later on. Okay. So I, I have no nice. idea that I'm going to work on Chucky. But anyway, <laughs> so your life is all like set up, isn't it, Preston? <laughs> but your life is all set up by somebody. <laughs> right? Copy so that, copy lot. that. Yeah. So, so, so I learned a lot from the animatronic people, and, and then later I can apply it on Chucky. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Well, let me tell you something. The ruse can throw down, man. I love the martial <laughs> arts. I love the, the, the fire choreography. It's very well done. Here's a little taste. Here's a little taste for you guys who've never seen Warriors of Virtue. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Where did you find that clip, man? Wow. Hey, you got to unmute. Yeah. Where did you find that clip? Wow. I, 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 if you guys want to watch the film, hopefully it gets a Blu-ray release because it deserves one, oh, like yeah. Frank said. But you can actually watch it. I found it on Tubi, oh. believe it or not. You oh. can actually watch Warriors Virtue on Tubi, and that's where I got the little clip. They can wow, throw yeah. down, son. <laughs> uh, but really quick, uh, the the Komodo character uh, Angus McFadden yes. who played Angus McFadden who played him was it your idea to have him be so over the top? It looked like he was having a blast playing that villain. Yes, actually, you know that was, that, that 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 one that sort of has something to do like uh, with the Dracula, you know, with the Coppola Dracula. That's what yeah. is, inspired me, you know, you know that sort of like uh, the over the top, you yeah. know acting and 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 i ran into i ran into uh, my father you know he, he actually is a is a is a six pm sort of like like stage actor yeah you know? right and uh yeah and he was in braveheart too he was in braveheart yeah. exactly exactly yeah. that's how i get to know him you know? nice oh but he was he was cracking me up when i was watching the movie man he was so <laughs> you could tell he was just just having so much fun playing that role yes uh, yes. But yeah, really enjoyed Warriors of, Fir of Virtue, uh, and uh, we were having a little technical difficulties earlier. Uh, Samurai guy get, didn't get a chance to talk about Legacy of Rage. So really quick, Frank, I know we got to keep it moving. Really quick, oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Ronnie, there are a lot of people out there that consider Legacy of Rage Brandon Lee's best film. Oh, in thank of, you. In terms of I action, didn't know that. yeah, I didn't in terms know. of action, and uh, I, I love that movie. You can actually check out. Uh, Legacy of Rage guys on the Haya channel. You can check it out there. It's oh, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, it's on there. Yes, and uh, I just had two quick questions before we move on to Chucky. Uh, the fight with Bolo that Brandon Lee had was that supposed to be a longer fight originally? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Was, oh yeah. <laughs> it was. It was supposed to be designed uh, with a more lengthy fight, but then okay. Brandon, Brandon had. Just doesn't like it. It does. I don't want. I don't want. I, I don't want to repeat my, what my father does. You know that sort of thing. Oh, you know? okay. He just refused. So I said, okay, but but we got it. We got it for the fans. You know, we right. got to put that scene in. You right. know, how about just give me like you know, six shots. You know. Right. Okay. It, it's oh. almost like a, a huge sort of negotiation and compromise. You know? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, was was Brandon? Uh, you had a little issues working with him, or overall he was okay. No, for for Brandon, I almost like have to be the uh, the, the professor, the psychiatrist, <laughs> the you know, uh, and, and the best friend, you know, the teacher, the the school teacher, everything, you know, because he was like nineteen, I think, at that time, nineteen or twenty. Oh my God! Wow. Yes, yes, wow. So, and he's very rebellious. You know, he always, he loved to be like, you know, wearing like uh, leather jackets and riding a Harley Davidson. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, so it took me, so, and, and all the stunt guys in Hong Kong hated him. Ooh. Hated him. Oh, you know? really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, had to, I had to sneak him out of Hong Kong. Like after we finished the movie, he couldn't come to the premiere. Oh. Because there was a conspiracy of beating him up. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> nice oh, yeah. Well, I asked a question. I found out. Yeah, you didn't hear that, there, Frank. You never heard. I heard, that I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. No, I heard him breaking up. Yeah. But wow, that's crazy. Yeah, because 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 he does. 
You know, he doesn't like action. Oh, it's news you know, to I me. I, I didn't know. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Well, I didn't know that about Brandon, so that was very interesting. I'm sure he learned a valuable lesson uh, working underneath you, uh, Roddy. I'm, I'm sure he grown oh, from yeah, there. Well, Brandon uh, did. Yeah, but uh, after hopefully. that, you know, I always, like, when I was out, hey, I, I hang out with him, and then he, yeah. He, yeah, he told me that, you know, he said, oh, I was a little bit naive and, 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 and young, you know, nice. and all that. Yeah, I think he learned. He learned. He learned. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, here's a little clip. Here's a little taste of Legacy of Rage action. That's right, baby. That's that's how you do it from the eighties, son. Yeah, yeah, that's right. that's right. And then John Woo said, "I want to do that too." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just phenomenal yeah. stuff. Phenomenal stuff. But now, now we got to keep it moving. And you know, I'm a, I was a huge fan, huge fan of uh, the first two Child's Play movies. Huge fan. The third one. I don't think I'm alone in this, but the third one was very disappointing uh, to a lot of us. It just, it was just miss, it missed something. And uh, man, Bride of Chucky came out, and man, you really just just brought this franchise back to life. One of <laughs> one of many, one of many, which we'll get to. Uh, but yeah, you know, we we just had an absolute blast with Bride of Chucky. It's so much fun. It's funny. It's badass. And, you know, I tell people tell me all the time, because we talk about horror here on the channel, you know, we're martial arts action and horror. And uh, if people tell me every year that Bride of Chucky is on their must watch list every year for Halloween. Wow. So how did That's you get that. this? How did you come across this project? Uh, the creator of Chucky, Don Massini, uh, loves the bright white hair. Uh, that's how that's how that's how it all comes along. You know, and then he, he, he called my agent and then my agent flying me over to uh, L.A. And then we sit down and, and I had to be frank with Don. I said, I know nothing about Chucky. <laughs> I never watch, never, never watch Chucky. You know, he said, that's fine. That's fine. You know, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, we, yeah. We, want, we want some, 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 some different opinion and some new, new ideas, you know, and, uh, and the only thing that I remember at the meeting, the only thing I come up with, I said, make it a little bit sort of tongue in cheek too. I said, yeah, no, don't, don't don't take it too seriously. I said that that would that that would make a little bit difference, right? You know, oh, it, it made a hell of a difference. It oh, made a hell of a yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, and Don and Don Don agree with me, and then so that's why he come up with all this like uh, funny, so one liners, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was a blast. And, it was a yeah. blast. And another thing is that another worked for me on that movie is because I, 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 Universal allowed me to bring in my own sort of editor, David Wu, and also my cameraman, Peter Powell. Yeah. And so nice. that makes my life a lot easier. Yeah. You know? and, nice. uh, and also because of their technique and their, their, their artistic, uh, so it give, give a lot of different, you know, to the, to the movie. Yeah. You know, Peter Powell's oh, yeah. lighting. You know, David, uh, sort of uh, fast editing on the action. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all, all yeah. that little thing that makes a difference. It's all that little thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's like you said, just pure entertainment. You know, everybody yeah. just loves it, laughs, and just has a great time uh, with Bride of Chucky. Hold on one second. We got another filmmaker here. Oh. Uh, he just showed up. Master Chaos, Jose here. Uh, he says, Fat Samurai Guy, please let Mr. You Know from one filmmaker to another, that he is a wonderful artist, and I love his work. Look at that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not just fans, but filmmakers showing yeah, he's a up. director, there. right? That Thank is you. awesome. Yeah, that is, is awesome. Uh, but, yeah, Bride of Chucky is phenomenal. And then uh, you went the little action comedy route with Formula 51. <laughs> Man, yes. What a cast. Samuel Jackson, Robert Carlyle, uh, Sean Pertwee. I mean, what a fun movie this was. How was it working with uh, this cast here? Oh, a lot of fun. It was it was a blast? Was a blast, especially like with uh, with Sam. 
Sam, actually, Sam uh, you know, asked me to join him in this movie. And uh, he, he just said, Ronnie, I just I love all these like, Chinese sort of uh, action you know, thing, you know, just, yeah. just pull them in, you know. And, uh, and oh, he then, wanted uh, you. He, he sought you out. He wanted you. For yes, the project. yes. Oh. Yes. And, and then I went, I went to his house in L.A. and we talked about this. And, uh, and he loves the bright wet hair, too, you know. And he has a cinema, and he's he's playing his plays in it, and he was uh, showing me all those like uh, samurai movie that he has. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. And then we talk about it. I said, "Good, let's have a let's have a lot of fun." And then casting, right. and then shooting the movie was shot in Liverpool, England. Right. You know, okay. and then I just I just think that uh, to pair with uh, Sam, I need a local. You know, so that and then we got. A Scottish, actually. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and I play, playing a Liverpoolian, you know, and uh, <laughs> it was so funny. And then we have uh, Mick, Mick, uh, Meatloaf as well. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, play, playing right. the big villain. Yeah. It, it was so, yeah. so fun. Every day, every day was so funny. You know, I, yeah. I remember one day, one, one day, you know, I was watching them work, the two actors, you know, and then I forgot to say cut. <laughs> I just, right. I was so into it, I forgot to say cut. And then Sam turned around and said, hey, Ronnie, we ran out of lines. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that, that, that's how good it is. You know? yeah. Nice. I, I had a feeling. I, that's, it makes sense now that he sought you out because he's a fan of, fan of your movies. Because I saw that little fight scene in there where he was spinning that golf club. And then I heard, I heard from an interview that he wanted to throw in some kind, something martial art uh yes, you know yes, he loves, style he loves you want to he throw it in there him. and uh yeah. um kaiju ninja in 1985 here beat me to to the punch here with my next question uh so were you uh, originally a part you were you supposed to be a part of snakes on a plane what happened with that one yes yes i was uh i was on on, on snake on the plane for for almost uh, three months like working on the script uh working with the producer and uh, and I'm I be, I'm having problem, um, creative problem with the producers. You know, I, I just couldn't gotcha. I couldn't understand. You know what 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 they want, and uh, and they don't understand what I want. So anyway, and then fe and then fetus came about. You know, and Jack called me and uh, want me to to do it. He said, "Are you happy?" I said, "No, I'm not happy right now." He said, "Okay." Let's let do something more 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 happy. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Wow! Wow! Well, it was it was it I'm was, like Hong it Kong. was <laughs> yeah. Wow! I, I think you made the right choice there. Uh, going to See, to direct fearless. Yeah, it, it, it's something like I said earlier on. Everything sort of planned it, you know, upstairs by somebody, you know, because I because that move that character, <laughs> yeah, that character uh, uh, in fearless has been done yeah. to death. Right, you know, that the right. voyage, you know, done to death by, yeah. by, by, by a, a Chinese TV, Hong Kong TV and all that. So I asked, I asked Jack, I said, why do you want to do it again? He said, Ronnie, I already spent $5 million developing <laughs> this project. Wow. You know? I said, why, why? Yeah. He said, no, yeah. because I, he's been practicing martial arts since he's like six years old, you know? And then he want he really want to not not to make a, a story about Foy and Jazz story, you know. He want to re remake that. No, he just want to use the Foy and Jazz character because he's such a sort of famous and prestigious uh, sort of martial artist in Chinese history. Right, right, right. You know, to use him to tell what exactly is Chinese wushu that martial art is all about. It's all it's not about just kicking ass, you know. Right. The the highest level of martial art. Is stop fighting, you know. That that is that is the uh, ideal, and that is gotcha. his dream. So I said, "Oh, now I got it. Now I got it." So yeah. and, and I love the idea, and I'm gonna make it happen for you. So well, we I mean, fear, we were we were very fortunate to get a chance to see Fearless in the big screen over here yep. in the theaters in the states. I mean, we were yep. very lucky, and what an amazing uh, movie, man! Like we were just. We were just just the, the fight scene, which is directed by Yuan Ping, and it was just everything was so good. The music, the cinematography, it was just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, was Jet Li originally the the one that was supposed to star? Was he the original pick? Yes, yeah, he's a producer. He's oh, a okay, producer he's a producer. 
<laughs> yeah, he was okay. producer in that movie. So he 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 started this, this whole idea. Yeah. How was it working with Jet? Great. It's great. No. I mean, I mean, I mean, it sounds like so boring, like great. You know, no, it's true. You know, because because it's his idea in the beginning. Yeah. You know, so all it's very easy to work with a, a an actor, a leading actor. You know, he has this very precise, clear idea of what right. this guy is. You know, and uh, yeah. that so, so that makes my life a lot easier. You know, but but working with you all paying is a little bit different. You know, because uh, before we start the movie, I have a lot of ideas. I said, "This is great." You know, this is a great opportunity. You have the best. You have the best fighting actor, like you know, in the world, like you know, in the martial art world, like Jackie. Yeah. And then you have the best, like you know, well-known choreographer, Yu Wo Ping, and uh, and then that's that, that's a great story. You know, this is a great idea to really using cinematic technique and kung fu, like or martial art, you know, choreographer to show the right. difference between Western action yeah. versus Chinese wushu, like kung fu. You know, so right. that's why you know the, the ending part. You know, all the all the like uh, uh, the fighting part with different yeah. sort of like uh, nationality. You know, warriors. You know, right. I really want to show more detail. You know, why why is the Chinese uh, sword built like that? There's a reason. You know, show it, show it to the audience. Let the world audience understand it. But then you know, Yun Woping said, "No, oh, it's to to spend too much time." You you're wasting you know you lose the energy and all that you know but uh, but one day I'm gonna do it one day I'm gonna make sure that you know that that that's sort of like did the, the the difference it's like why you want the point forty five why you want to not not like you know using a a, a, a semi automatic versus you know a six bullet you know what I mean so they only right. understand it gotcha you know? gotcha yeah that makes sense that I'm makes sense to me. I have, a quick ahead, question. I have a quick question on fears. The the scenes with Michelle Yeoh, those were eventually, I guess, they were cut out when they came out in theaters. Was it always, you know, was it? I mean, because it's supposed to be like a flashback, or you know, like like she would be in the, you know, she's in the present day, and then we go back to his time. Yeah. Was it originally planned to have it, and then it's, it was it was it was original start the movie with Michelle, right? I will start with Jim Michelle explaining the character, the Chinese character, right. the makeup of a Chinese character, you know, and uh, so the Western audience would understand more, you know. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I, I, it's the uh, the Chinese censor oh, didn't like huh. the idea. Wow! Didn't like the idea. He said, "Wow!" He said, "You guys, you, you guys are just a filmmaker. Don't preach." <laughs> hmm. Wow! Wow! God, God forbid, martial arts movies <laughs> have a message. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, you got it for that. Exactly what the what the bureaucrat was saying. <laughs> wow! Well, I could well, not believe it. Stick to stick to entertainment. <laughs> wow. Well, well, the good news is that both versions are out on Blu-ray, so we can appreciate yes. both yes, versions. Yes, on the director's cut. Um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And, and I really enjoyed that as well. But before we uh, get close to wrapping it up, we get, before we get to general here, you, we can't we, – what? Come on now. We got, I got the shirt. I got the shirt. Come on now. We, we ain't skipping my boys. Freddy versus Jason. Oh. Holy crap. You know, I love the, a lot I love the poster. Of, I, have, I love the poster. Oh, the poster's great. Ronnie, when we saw this in theater, me and my wife, the uh, it, this was a crowd pleaser, Ronnie. The crowd was laughing, cheering. They were rooting for who they wanted to win. It was so it was so good. It was one of the best movie going experiences I've ever had. And I, I didn't know it was gonna be that good. Because we barely saw any trailers or TV spots, me and my wife. We just were like, oh, we hope it's fun. And we went to go see it. And we were like, you know, the first time they interact and fight each other, I think it was the dream sequence. The first time they fight and then, they, you know, uh, it, that ends. We thought that was it. We were like, oh, well, that was a fun fight. That was cool. Like, we didn't know. 
the badassity that was going to come later with them fighting in the fire. And just like, I love how the finale, there's like three or four separate different uh, stages of the fight. It like escalates. It gets, it's every sec, like every section location has like their own type of fight. It's different. Game especially by the end. Yeah, especially by the end where literally using each other's weapons on each each other is that the reason why you got the gig for freddy versus jason because due to the, the success of bride of chucky absolutely absolutely because of bride of chucky and again uh new, new line cinema at that time uh want me to do it and then the executive uh they're all like you know fans of uh, chucky bride chucky and uh, the bright white hair and uh and this is again, you know, I told them I I I I have limited knowledge on Friday Thirteen, and you know, M Three, you know, and right. And they said that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You know, we just want to want to come in to yeah. uh, inject new thing in it, you know, on it. And uh, but you know, I get a lot of uh, I, I actually throughout the whole make, making process of that movie, I got a lot of uh, help. From one of the junior executive at the studio, because uh, he sort of like I remember he pulled me aside and said, uh, "Ronnie, Ronnie, do you know these two are the horror icon of our culture, <laughs> especially the movie going culture?" You know? Yeah, yeah. I said, "Oh yeah." So it's very <laughs> important, huh? He said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You bet. Very serious." <laughs> I said, "Okay, then uh, you be my advisor then." <laughs> You know? All right. So it's like so. I look at it. I understand it. You know. So that's why. That's why. You know. I. I. I designed all this fight because the movie is that is about two icons. You know. Yes. Kicking each other. That right. You know. That then you have almost like uh, that man versus the man. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like uh, the uh, the uh, the Godzilla. You know, fighting King Kong. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean. Right. Yeah. So, so that, yeah. that, 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 that you, they got to kick ass. They got to kick each other's in a, in a different way, different right. ways, in a different way. Yes. You know, all the time. You know, no holding bar. You know, just go all yeah. the way. Yeah. You know, I remember. I remember the, the during the fight with the the last scene. You know, the prop guy came up. He said, "Ronnie, I don't think we have ordered enough blood." <laughs> 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 you know, we, I think we need to order more more blood. You know, I said yes. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, order yeah. more blood. You know, because they're just gonna tear each other apart. They're gonna really want to do that. Oh, you know? I love it. I love it. Yeah. It was so satisfying. Yeah. Like we were blown away. The music score, the 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 rock score, it was so good. And the ending was perfect because it pleased both sides. It pleased both fandom with the yes, ending. yes. It was so good. Uh, how yeah. was it working with Kirk and the Robert? It's great. It's great. You know. Um, Kurt is a new guy. It's not the yeah. uh, the the the, the uh, previous uh, actor, and Kane somehow Hall, yeah. you know somehow I I I, I have no idea. I don't know too much about why why they why the executive at the studio wanted to replace him, replace the old uh, Kurt uh, uh, Aka. You know? Right, right. So so we have, we hired a new guy, and actually just stun guy, stun man. Um, I believe I, th I think I heard it was a, like a visual aesthetic. They wanted because uh, Kane Hunter's not a tall guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. And that's I right. You want somebody taller than than Freddy? Yeah, much yeah, much taller, yeah. more 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 intimidating. Uh, right. So, uh, right, visually. right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think I think that that's the reason. Did yeah. did Kane ever approach you and was like crying? Was he like Ronnie? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, 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 oh no, man no, no but it no. just just a phenomenal monster bash movie i mean mm -hmm. it's like it's a you know wolfman versus frankenstein it's it's like you said godzilla versus kong all that stuff it was a yeah. versus movie yeah. and we got it we're not i mean for a horror movie yeah for two icons fighting each other i dare i dare somebody else to do better yeah. i dare but, you it's not actually, gonna happen I, I, yeah at the end of the movie, you know, I, I, I sort of like thought of an idea. I said, why don't we have a good, the bad, and the ugly? You know, we have, uh, we have uh, Freddy, Jason, and then Maya. Ooh. Right? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Right? Yeah. I came up with this idea, with good, and the bad, and then, but, but at that time, the still said, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Oh, so I would have loved, loved that. You just that blew everything. 
you just blew everyone's minds that are watching <laughs> right now. Can you imagine the ending of it? <laughs> oh my God. It'd be insane. It'd be insane. Yeah. Uh, but uh, really quickly, uh, back to the action of the, of the movie, uh, I noticed Freddie was using his, his glove, his fingernails, his glove, uh, in ways we've never seen him up to that point use uh, his glove. And I was like, man, this is like, I mean, did you put a little bit of that Hong Kong action spice, <laughs> uh, add a little flavor? Is, is that what you did with that? Because it was yeah, like yeah. really good. <laughs> I just, I just thought, yeah, exactly what like you said. You know, I just, I, I because of my, I went back to watch all the, all the, all the, all the old movies of uh, Friday, I mean, uh, uh, Freddy's movie. You know, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. funny that nobody really, I mean, that the detail of that finger is very, yeah. very menacing. You know, and it's scary. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah. so that's why I said, okay, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna focus a little bit on it. You know, so. On, oh man. Yeah. Well, here's a little taste. <laughs> For you guys have not seen it, check this badassity out. <laughs> you to do better. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to happen. Oh. It's not going to get any better than what we just saw. <laughs> just just, just so badass. Love it. I love it. And uh, let's keep it going here, though. Uh, saving General Yang. Yeah. Man, this, this was epic. Good chills. Good chills. I think, I think, Frank, I think this is what we Dynasty Warriors fans wanted the Dynasty Warriors movie to be. Yes. It's something with this kind of action. Definitely, uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, just phenomenal, phenomenal movie, just epic in scale. How'd you come across this project? Oh, this is uh, from Raymond Wong, uh, the producer. Uh, his son. His son is a writer and admin. And uh, he asked me if I know anything about this uh, old historical story on the Yang family. I said, yeah, of course, you know, you know we read a lot about the heroic sort of incidents and uh, all the write up on, on this family. And- It's usually about the women, not the men. Yes, yes. So very little talk, uh, mention about the, uh, the heroic man, right. you know, or the family. So uh, he, he wanted to he sort of tell audience you know that uh, the men are also like uh, heroes. Yes. You know, so that's how this, this whole story come about. You know, and um, nice, nice, but just fantastic, thought, I, I, fantastic I, yeah, story, I, epic. Yeah. Yes, I never and I never sort of uh, work on this uh, costume, sort of uh, martial art. You know, <clears> before, <throat> so I said, "Oh yeah, I love to love to try my hand on it." You know, the. Uh... Uh, Action yeah. set pieces were so grand and epic. Were, were there any close calls? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, oh, is it that the problem with making all the action movie? Like, you know, e even in Chucky, even in Chucky, we got, we got a son guy in hospital, you know, had a couple. Oh, wow. Wow. And, yeah. All that. And, of course, Freddy, you know, and Jason. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't get away with it, you know, with the uh, action. Uh, with uh, General Yan, yeah, we, we, have, we have fingers cut chop off and, oh my uh, goodness wow yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> even though even, even though those weapons are fake are not like real yeah. but then it's not sharp but they right. they act but still they are steel right they're iron you know so right. you know i i really appreciate all those act those stunt guys you know but what what is good about general yang is uh i have a great working relationship with the choreographer you know, don't don't why, and uh, he understands what I want, and uh, and he's also very good with uh, handling all the horses and all that. You know, so that that, that, that it shows. You know, if, if everything yeah. if everything works well, you know, in a team, it shows. Yeah. You know? 
So just a quick yeah. trivia. Stephen Tong, Dong Wai was the kid in Enter the Dragon who Bruce Lee lectured to. In That's the right. Scene. The right, watch the moon or something. And yeah. Don't miss this heavenly glory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh yes, my yes. goodness! Oh. But uh, what? what a, <laughs> yeah, you got, you got, <laughs> I'm going to quote into the dragon now from the for the rest of this interview. It's too much fun. Uh, but yeah, what a what a fantastic epic movie uh, Saving General Yan was, and, and inspirational too. It makes you want to charge the battlefield, you know. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, just just uh, your, your filmography, your legacy, Ronnie. Uh, it's just it's wonderful, and it's. What you have brought to us as film lovers, uh, it's just a wonderful thing, my friend, especially you, you doing comedies and going across all different genres, <laughs> horror, martial arts, all that. It's just, it's a, yes, Ronnie has something for everyone. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's, it, it was an honor to have you here uh, on, on the channel, my friend. And a quick go ahead, Frank. Go ahead. So, so I mean, I'm just curious. Like, Ronnie, have you been watching like any like recent horror movies lately? If you do, ah, any yeah. favorites? Yes. Get out. Oh, get out. Oh, yeah, okay. Like you like get out. All right. Simple. You know, simple. But then it's it's uh, yeah haunting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any uh, well, I'll I'll do the action one, Frank. Uh, any recent action or martial arts movies you enjoyed? Uh, recently. Recently. Recently, actually, you know, I watch a lot. Of, I get to watch because of Netflix. I get to watch a lot of this Korean, and in this Korean action movie, are really, really good. You know, yeah. and the, the, the way they, the way they, the choreographer, you know, and of course that 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 poster behind you, Preston John Wick. Of oh course, yeah. Is good. Yeah. Nice. And, nice. Uh, I can't wait to see the part four. New, uh, it's coming yeah. out, right? Oh, yeah. Coming out, uh, yeah. March. March. Yeah. March. March. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Mark, yeah, for sure. Oh boy, but um, but yeah, thank you so much, Ronnie, for coming on the You're channel. Welcome. Huge honor. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah. you being here, Frank. Thank you for setting us up. Appreciate it, brother. You're welcome. you're a legend. Uh, before we before we wrap it up, we have to ask the question. Everybody's been asking this question throughout the whole stream. <laughs> are you <laughs> any projects? Are you are you are you are you out from retirement, Ronnie, or are you are you gonna maybe come back and dabble in some stuff? Oh no, I never retire. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy, but <laughs> oh. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh my goodness. Well, we're 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 going crazy over here, uh, just anticipating your next project. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Okay. Will may I'm sure Frank would love this. Would you do something in the future, maybe a little sci-fi related? For uh, Ronnie, would you well, do something actually, sci-fi? Yeah, actually, now that you mentioned it, yeah, there, there, there was a, there is a script being written, and it's a sci-fi thing, Ooh. and I, I'm I'm not sure, you know, I have to learn. All right, sci-fi. I watched Avatar too last yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing, you know, yeah. the CG, the technical the achievement. Thing. Yeah. Cameron, yeah, that, oh my god, that was on Frank's uh, best of the year list. It was yeah, number one, list, best number one year. movie yeah. of the year. Oh, yeah, yeah, number one. You, you saw it earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, Frank. I saw it twice. Yeah. I saw Avatar wow. 2 twice. Yeah. yeah, love it. Yeah, it's great. Oh man, well, again, uh, this was an honor. Uh, before we wrap it up, Ronnie, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? Wait for my next one. <laughs> 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 I like it. Short and sweet. Short and sweet, baby. That's how we do it. Uh, hey, don't forget to check out Ronnie Use fans, guys. You can, uh, excuse me, Ronnie Use movies. Make sure you check them out on Tubi. Make sure you buy the Blu rays. Check out Eureka 88 Films. Uh, Frank dropped an exclusive here um, for the Postman Post Strikes Back. Back. Getting a Blu ray mm -hmm. coming soon. But also, Blonde sure Fury. Guys... Blonde Fury is coming. I mean, you know. Uh, Eureka has already announced Blonde Fury. I mean, well, they gave hints, but we know it's coming. So Blonde Fury, Ronnie yes. also has a little bit part in that. So that's coming too. Oh, so, yeah. oh, I can't <laughs> wait for that. I got an. I'm so happy to hear that, Frank. I got an old crusty DVD that barely plays. So I'm, I can't wait to, to get to get the Blu-ray. So make sure oh, yeah. you guys. Uh, you can follow Ronnie. I put his Facebook uh, description in the description box below of the video. So follow Ronnie. Buy the movies. Follow Frank. 
<laughs> Jang, the Master Remaster. And if you're new here and if you enjoyed yourself, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the old samurai guy. Keep watching movies, baby. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Hello. Thanks, Ronnie. Bye-bye. Thank you.